Well, Hayward's name surfaced today as the Lockerbie families demand more answers on the release of a convicted terrorist. News 4's Leah Lando has the details now. Leah. Don and Jackie, a press conference was held in Times Square today. Senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Robert Menendez asked current VP CEO Tony Hayward to testify before a hearing on the release of the Lockerbie bomber. Senator Menendez says Scottish officials have declined to attend the hearing, but he has not heard from BP. Its current CEO, Tony Hayward, Hayward may be on his way out, but Menendez says that's no reason to avoid Thursday's hearing. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee is investigating circumstances surrounding the release of Lockerbie bomber Abdel Bassett Al Megrahi. They're also looking into whether an oil exploration deal between BP and Libya led to Al Megrahi's 2009 release. 270 people, including town of Boston native Colleen Brunner, died in the 1988 bombing of Pan Am Flight 103. Victims' families gathered for today's press conference in New York. Now, I understand that Mr. Hayworth may be in the process of negotiating his golden parachute to leave BP, but that does not excuse him from the request for his participation. This was the largest terrorist attack on the United States prior to September 11. 189 Americans were killed, and this is a conspiracy hiding in plain sight. We cannot have deals being made, silence on issues. We need the truth. Menendez and Gillibrand are also hoping U.K. officials will reconsider their decisions not to appear at the hearing this week. Leolando, News 4.